Hello students, I am going to read the book Caps for Sale, which is a book that most of my students like a lot and some of you have never heard, uh, some of my new students have never heard, but what I want to do is get a whole bunch of caps and go to school to the monkey bars and have you guys all climb on the monkey bars and then I will read this book and you will throw your caps at the right time. So someday I'm going to find some caps at the dollar store and we're going to do this. But for right now I'm going to read you this book called Caps for Sale. Let's see. The author's name, Esfir Slobodinka. That's a hard name for me to say. But it's both written and the illustrations are made by the same person. Caps for Sale, the tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. Now a peddler is somebody that sells stuff. So he walks around and sells things. There are still peddlers today, people that come to your house and try to sell you things. Caps for Sale. Let's see, this was written and published first in 1940. That's a long time ago. That's about 80 years ago. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. So these are the gray caps. This is his own cap. Then the gray caps, brown caps, blue caps, and red caps. The colors are a little bit weird. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street, and he walked down the street calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his caps. He does not want to spill all those caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he, and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Uh-oh, do you see something wrong? But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. He looked to the right of him, no caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. This is how I want all my students to be on the monkey bars, all of them wearing hats. 
The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking a finger at them. You give me back my cats. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, <laughs> This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my cats. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, S -s -s -s. <laughs> Now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, S -s -s -s. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you! You must give me back my caps! But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, S -s -s -s. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then each monkey pulled off his cap and all the gray cats and all the brown cats and all the blue cats and all the red cats came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. There you go. And here, he didn't really go in the tree, but look, there's the monkeys at the bottom and there's him at the tree. He didn't really do that. that. This cover is really funny. And look, there's a farm back there. Maybe there's chickens back there. Um, I hope you like my video. I'm going to soon go take another video of my chickens and animals today. So I'll put that up soon. Please comment if you liked my video and if you watched it. And let me know if there are any other books that you love that I like to read that you would like to hear me read. You can also go back and look at books that I've read, old videos, if you're interested in the book. Um, and let me know if there's anything you want to see. I hope you're all having a good vacation. I will talk to you guys soon.